So I've been doing a lot of training in my bookkeeping business and I would do a lot of screen shares. The client shares their screen and I'm trying to teach them how to use it. And I was saying, hey, go up into the left or no, right, just a little bit of an inch further. And it was getting really annoying and it was inefficient. And I found out there are some settings in Zoom that allow me to annotate on my client's screen while I'm teaching because I usually prefer them to be the one doing the clicking to help them learn how to use the software. So I'm gonna tell you how to annotate. I'm gonna tell you how you can even take remote control of their screen. They can grant you access and you can do the clicking for them. Sometimes there might be a scenario where you want to do that because you can just move a little bit faster. And I had a little redheaded buddy as my helper to demonstrate this. So stay tuned so you get to meet him. But really quick, before you do the screen share, go ahead and search how to enable annotation for meetings in Zoom. And you're gonna get this little checklist right here. But basically what it's saying, come to your Zoom settings, go to in meeting basic, and then you're gonna scroll down here to annotation. You're gonna click this button on. Note, I forgot to mention to enable remote control. Do that right here in the same Zoom settings. So I have learned something about how to annotate on my client's computer screens whenever I am sharing, whenever they're doing a screen share with me, whenever I'm training them. And this has been huge for me. And so I want to share it with y'all. I got a little buddy. He is right beside me, but he's also on another laptop. And he's going to help me show y'all how I do this. All right. Can you show your screen? Click share. All right. So my client, this young 11 year old, handsome young lad right here is sharing his FreshBooks dashboard. And so now I'm going to come up to the very top and click on view options and I'm going to go down to annotate. I'm going to click annotate. There's so many things you can check. I'm gonna, I've just been using the square. So now I'm going to ask my client here to go create an invoice. Can you click right here? What are you seeing when you on your screen? Did you see a red box on your screen? Yes. Awesome. Now, can you come up here and create new invoice? See how easy this is? So instead of saying, oh, go a little bit to the left, oh, go a little bit to the right, scroll up, scroll down. Now I'll get rid of that box. Oh, and to get rid of the box, good point, good tip. You hit control Z and it takes it away. Here, how about come down here and we'll add a client. Fantastic. Y'all see how easy that is? All right, you can escape out of that. Now, let me just show you a few more things that you have access to. Uh, can you come here and enter the amount due? Anything, just put anything, it doesn't matter. But see, we have arrows, that's what I'm trying to point out. Um, you don't have to enter anything, I'm just kidding. Now, let's see if he thinks that this is fun. I'm putting hearts all over his screen. You see the hearts? I love you. There's a whole lot of different things you can do, y'all. But I'm able to get rid of the arrow by myself. There's a little X on there. Right yes, now. you can get rid of stuff. Clear all drawings. I'm going to clear all drawings. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to X out of that. The last thing I'm going to show you is how I can actually take control of his screen. So I'm going to request remote control. I'm hitting request. So I went up to view options at the very top in my little Zoom banner. Quest remote control. What are you seeing? What did it ask you? It asked me whether I was wanting to approve of her taking away my screen. Awesome. So now I have remote control and I'm going to add a client for this. I'm clicking here and I'm going to add Testy McTesterson as a client. I came over here and I entered a $500 down in the item name. We can put an item here. So this is an example of me taking your remote control. Now, let's say I wanted to do something really squirrely. Can you stop my remote control? Can you click the red button where it says stop? So he kicked me out of being able to take control of his screen. Two, two things that I thought were valuable. Annotate on your client screen and also take control right here in Zoom. Easy peasy. So what did you think about that? You think it's a good teaching?
Now it's three redheads in one screen. Three? There's only two of us. One in space and two side by side. <laughs> one screen. One in space and <laughs> one side by side. That's one screen. That's one screen. This is a- yeah, so the two things we learn, how to annotate and how to request remote control. Once you turn those settings on and your client shares their screen, just go to the top bar. There'll be a tiny little set of words that say view options. For me, I've gotten really good at just using the rectangle. And that seems to just wildly help. And then I press Control Z after I do one rectangle and they click where I want to click. Control Z to get it off. It's been incredibly valuable, make my trainings go a lot better. I can cover more material and I just don't think it's frustrated to need to do that. All right. Think about it. Bye. All right. I hope you found this helpful. Comment below if you did. Give this video a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe. I surely appreciate it. And I look forward to just continuing to update you on my journey building this bookkeeping business, including some of these tools that I've been able to learn and figure out. Adios for now.